Stunning racetrack crash that injured more than a dozen fans and sent a star driver to the hospital. It happened during the Grand Prix of Houston. And ABC's Ryan Owens is there with the latest. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning to you, Lara. This was a scary crash, and not just for those drivers on the racetrack. Several fans, as you mentioned, ended up at the Houston hospital behind me, right alongside a driver many of them had come to see at the track. And he's still here this morning following emergency surgery. Wow, that's Whoa. a huge crash. It happened seconds from the finish line. Watch it again. One car goes airborne, slamming into the fence that's supposed to protect spectators. It didn't. Debris rains down on fans. Here's how it looked from their terrifyingly close seats. Debris flew literally inches from my head. I mean, it was it was just a it was a big chunk of um, tire. So my family was really shaken up. She wasn't hurt, but 13 fans were some pinned under that very fence. The piece of fence had landed to where a lady was trapped underneath it. She, she was crawling underneath the fence to get out. The most seriously injured, the man inside that car, three-time Indy 500 winner Dario Franchitti. The 40-year-old suffered a concussion and fractured spine. His wife, actress Ashley Judd, tweeted on Sunday she was on her way to Houston. Thank you for the prayers. I have only clothes on my back and the dogs. We are on our way. This is not the first time action on the track has spilled into the stands. In February, 28 fans were injured by flying debris at the Daytona International Raceway when a car hit that catch fence. Ironically, after that crash, none other than Dario Franchitti tweeted, it's time IndyCar, NASCAR, other sanctioning bodies and promoters work on an alternative to catch fencing. There has to be a better solution. A lot of the tracks, including the one here in Houston, actually upgraded those fences after a fatal accident, a crash in Las Vegas two years ago. But as you heard, at least one driver, the one in the hospital behind me, warned it wasn't enough. George. Okay, Ryan, thanks very much.